I'm Dan Fleisch, and this video is about taking notes in college. Of all the skills that you should develop while you're in college, effective note-taking is among the most important and most useful. I say that not just because you'll do better in college if you train yourself to take good notes, but also because absorbing information, processing it in real time, and making a record for later reference is an important part of almost every profession. But taking good notes requires effort, and when a lecture makes up part or all of a class period, it's a lot easier to just sit there and listen. What's wrong with that? What's wrong is that research has shown that you'll remember almost nothing about that lecture. 30 days afterwards, you'll probably remember something like 1-2% to of what you heard, and there's no guarantee that the little bits you do remember are the important parts of the presentation. Now, some professors hand out their lecture notes, or perhaps an outline of the presentation, and you may be able to find the same information in the reading, or by looking at someone else's notes. Well, notes handed out by the professor are certainly a valuable resource, and notes taken by another student are potentially helpful, especially on those rare occasions when an illness or emergency forces you to miss class. But there are really two components to notes the process of note-taking, and the product of the notes themselves. And although the product is definitely useful when you're reviewing for an exam, I find that many students don't appreciate the value of the process of note-taking. What's so important about that process? Just this. Research studies make it clear that you will learn more and retain information better if you go through the process of getting engaged with the material being presented and physically writing notes about what you're hearing, seeing, or reading. Now, it's very common for college students to think that it's almost impossible to both pay attention to what's being said and to write notes at the same time. That's probably why so many students end up with just a few sketchy, disconnected phrases in their notes at the end of class. When I ask students why they have so few notes, I often hear variations of three basic reasons. I was trying to pay attention, so I was just listening carefully. Or, I didn't understand what was going on, so I didn't know what to write down. Or, sorry, I was really distracted in class that day. Here are my thoughts on those reasons for sketchy notes. First, I completely understand the difficulty of listening carefully while also taking notes. But I think you'll find that if you get engaged with the material, that is, if you force yourself to focus on what's being presented, you'll be able to recognize an important point as it occurs in the presentation and then write a short sentence that captures the essence of that point. I'm not saying it's easy, but with practice you can learn this skill. But how can you take notes about important points if you don't understand what the professor is saying? When students tell me that, I ask them about their class preparation. If you're prepared for class, you've done the reading, worked on the homework, and reviewed your notes from the last class, you should be able to understand enough of what the professor is talking about to take good notes. If not, then it's possible that you've enrolled in a class that's too advanced for you. There is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of in that. It just means you need more preparation before you take that class. You should talk to your academic advisor about that. One thing you should definitely avoid is becoming an amateur stenographer in class. By that I mean you shouldn't try to write down every word of what the instructor is saying. When you do that, your full attention tends to get captured by the recording process, and that almost certainly means that you're not thinking about the meaning of the words and engaging with the material. This may be one reason that research has shown that students who take notes by hand tend to do better on exams than students who type notes into a device during class. For some reason, typing seems to encourage making a verbatim transcript, and when you're reviewing, good notes are better than a transcript. Now, I realize that it sounds like I'm suggesting that you take more notes but don't write too much. So how do you find the right balance? There is no magic formula, and as I said, note-taking is a skill that you learn through practice. But most professors present information in a reasonably linear thread 
from some starting point to a conclusion in a series of logical steps. So the key is to be able to recognize the important steps and the conclusions and make sure that you get those into your notes. Here's another result from research studies about learning in college. Students who restructure their notes after class do better on exams. That restructuring can consist of reviewing your notes and then rewriting them or entering them into a computer. The important part is not the copying process. It's getting into your notes to extract meaning and context. That is, how this material relates to the topics of the assigned reading and homework and to the material covered in previous classes. This is much more challenging and time-consuming than simply going over your notes by rereading them before an exam. But the reward for the time and effort you put into taking and restructuring your notes is clear. You will learn a lot more, so you'll do better in your classes and you'll be better prepared for a really challenging and rewarding life after college. One final thought. Note-taking is valuable not just in class, but in other academic activities, such as watching videos, reading papers when you're doing research, meeting with a study group, or speaking with a professor. And once you've trained yourself to take good notes, it won't seem like such a chore. And I think you'll be very happy you made the effort to acquire this extremely useful skill. Okay, as you can probably tell, I think note-taking is really important. If you take notes on one or more of the videos in this series and would like my comments, feel free to send them to me. My email address is about to show up on the screen. Thanks very much for your time.